horns being beeped. It was a real day of celebration for uh, the blue half of the city. Jenny, thank you very much. Roberta Mancini there uh, appearing on the stage to the excitement of everybody. For the moment, Jenny, thanks very much. It's Jenny Coleshaw watching uh, from the BBC Sports Centre. Let's talk to uh, one Manchester City who, fan who is rather further away in Abuja in Rich, uh, Richard Okiri uh, in Nigeria. He has set up a group for Manchester City fans there in Nigeria. Richard, uh, thanks for joining us. I expect you wish you were in Manchester right now. I really wish I was in Manchester to join the celebration and to feel happy. I am still celebrating and the celebration will continue. You look very happy indeed. Uh, why Manchester City? Why, why do you like uh, them so much from thousands of miles away? Yes, I actually have been following Robinho a lot. And in 2009, he gave me a chance to work with Manchester City. And I saw their style of play, the ready plan. A plan where you don't know the second striker. I fell in love with Manchester City and Etihad. Robinho left me there and I'm still happy to be a citizen for life. How many of you are there in Nigeria, devoted Manchester City fans? Um, well, Manchester City is not a very popular city in this part of the world. I am one of the pioneer members and uh, we are less than one in a thousand. But uh, one thing we know, or what we, I and my group believe in, we do not join a club because the club is winning. We join a club and support the club to win. And we have achieved something. I'm proud of it. Yes, in fact, they certainly were, weren't the ones who were winning again and again. They are now, perhaps. Uh, what do you say to those? Let me put this to you uh, more controversially. What, what do you say to those, Richard, who say, ah, uh, it's all about money, spend a billion pounds, and look what you get. You get a title. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people say that it's all about money. But what is not about money? Some people, they spend money and they don't get nothing. Yes, he did the same thing. A lot of clubs have been spending money. In this season, Liverpool bought players, QPR bought players. If every club spends money, as far as we get the results and we have the money, there is no problem with that. Tell us what you were doing when the final whistle went and uh, how were you feeling throughout the course of the match on Sunday afternoon? What was it like there in Abuja? Uh, what we do in Abuja is uh, we meet to watch Manchester City matches and celebrate winnings. The match yesterday was like a one match before the game and celebration, celebration started very, very early. Funny enough, we had a lot of non-Man City friends around us. Chess fans, they were supporting us. Arsenal fans were supporting us and other groups. It was just the Man City fans that were alone. So the celebration started until we went 2-1 down. Everywhere was quiet. But when Aguero did what we paid him money to do, we knew we were in the right place. I'm imagining you're very happy indeed. Thank you very much, Dr. Richard Ukiri, a very devoted Manchester City fan, joining us from Abuja. Thanks very much for speaking to us. And you can see the remarkable scenes of Manchester City Centre. The sun is shining for once, and it is looking good there in Manchester City. Not so good, of course, if you're a Manchester United fan. But uh, the moment is that of Manchester City, certainly this evening. You're watching The Hub with me, Karen Giannone. The headlines are coming up.